Next on Worcester News Tonight, police in Southbridge warning residents after half a dozen overdoses of cough within hours of each other. Plus, Halloween brings out the costumes, the candy, and the important message about safety. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Anna Botari. Harrington Hospital honors Elise Wilson tonight the nurse who was stabbed by a patient earlier this year, as well as the people who stepped in to help save her life. Our Cam Jandro sat down with Miss Wilson today and has more. Cam? Anna, it was back in June when Elise Wilson was attacked by an unruly patient at Harrington Hospital. Today she had the chance to sit down. Today she had the chance to sit in front of the people that saved her life and say thank you. <laughs> Harrington Hospital honors nurse Elise Wilson. A patient attacked and stabbed the veteran nurse four months ago. It was such a horrible thing. It's a horrible thing to happen. And I'm not recovered from it yet. And I, I really want to get everything back that I was taken from me on that day. Wilson was stabbed more than 10 times. She suffered severe muscle and nerve damage and at one point needed to be resuscitated. She says the treatment she received in the first month following the attack was critical, but there's still a long way to go for a complete recovery. I've regained use of my shoulder, my elbow, and my wrist on this side. We're trying to strengthen those so that when my feeling does come back in my hand, um, the muscles will be ready to respond. The hospital also recognized the staff and emergency service members who helped save her life. Monday, Wilson was able to hug and thank those people, some for the first time. And a lot of people that responded to that, I, they are from upstairs uh, in other parts of the hospital. So I don't really know them face to face. And it was nice to be able to meet them and to actually thank them in person because I don't remember them being there. And for Wilson, her goal is to totally get back on her feet. She's doing it for herself and the people who saved her. But I'm going to work at it because they worked so hard to save my life. I have to do everything I can to get everything back that I can. Now, Wilson says she's not sure what her future holds because she's not exactly sure how much her body will heal. But she says she is going to PT twice a week to help regain her strength. Anna. Thanks, Cam. Well, Southbridge police are warning residents after six heroin overdoses occur in less than eight hours. According to police, the people who overdosed were only revived after they were given Narcan by police and fire personnel. They add these six overdoses would have likely been fatal without the fast response. They're reminding the public they'll help anyone in need of addiction services through the CARE program. For more information, you can contact Southbridge Police. A 13-year-old is charged in a serious stabbing incident in Worcester over the weekend. According to Worcester Police, the 33-year-old victim was walking near Illinois Street and Grand Street when he was approached by two young men. When the victim attempted to walk away, he was stabbed in the chest dangerously near his heart, causing him to fall to the ground. The suspect then began to kick him. Police have charged a 13-year-old with two counts of assault and battery with a dangerous weapon and armed assault with intent to murder. He'll be arraigned, but no date has been set yet. As for the victim, he's expected to survive. The Worcester County District Attorney confirms Erica Mullen is sentenced to 10 to 13 years in prison for her role in a 2015 fatal stabbing. Mullen was convicted of manslaughter in the stabbing death of Carlos Estrada in University Park. She's one of two people charged in connection to the murder. Mullen's boyfriend is awaiting trial on a first-degree murder charge. A Worcester woman was killed Sunday night after being struck by a vehicle on Route 9. Police were still on scene in East Brookfield Monday morning. They identified the woman as 54-year-old Lisa Germain. According to Sergeant Lazaric, the driver of the vehicle who hit her fled the scene and the investigation is ongoing. Residents in the area say it was shocking to hear about the accident. It's sad and tragic that this has to happen and you like to think a small town but we're right on Route 9 so how small are we? People should just own up for what they do and take the consequences and show that they truly have remorse. Otherwise, when you get caught, I think they should prosecute you to the fullest extent. I think it's horrible, and, uh, and hopefully a person can come forward and you know it'll be tough, but you know, somebody's you know child, uh, somebody's family member, so I'm sure they're you know a lot of grief right now. 
East Brookfield police say they're looking for a dark colored GMC train or envoy. A 23 month old baby in Worcester is recovering Monday after her mother accidentally hit her while backing out of the driveway. The incident happened Saturday evening on Costa Street. Police say the mother thought her daughter was in the apartment with her four year old sibling. The baby was taken to the hospital with critical injuries, including head trauma. Police say the girl is currently in stable condition. The investigation is ongoing. Well, Halloween night will have its share of ghosts and goblins running around in search of candy. Police will also be out making sure the streets are safe and they have an important message to both trick or treaters and drivers. Our Chandler Walsh has that story. And candy is out. The city is preparing for Halloween, but Worcester police are reminding trick or treaters and drivers to keep an eye out for each other. The biggest thing is just pedestrian safety because the big, biggest risk is being struck by a car. Children trick or treating are reminded to look both ways before crossing streets, use the crosswalks, and stay with an adult. Police say lighter colored costumes are safest and reflectors are advised for darker costumes. Visibility can be, can be hard for the driver, so the more you can do to make them see you, the better. Drivers are urged to be vigilant Tuesday night since some streets will be filled with costumed kids excited about the holiday. You have to practice defensive driving and just assume that there are going to be kids running out in front of you. And so, you know, especially for an area where you can't see that well, go incredibly slow and, and carefully. Mm -hmm. Emergency Department Physician Juan Vernon says parents should check to make sure candy is safe before eating. Make sure it's well wrapped, make sure it looks uh, like uh, it was meant to be that way, and uh, be aware of the allergies that the kid might have so that they don't accidentally end up with an allergic reaction to what's in the candy. But Dr. Vernon says Halloween trips to the hospital aren't very common and are usually just for sprained ankles. Slow down. You'll get to, you'll get to where you need to go. Just be careful and be safe. Chandler Walsh, Worcester News Tonight. The Worcester County Sheriff's Department welcomed a new canine to the job Monday. And while he may be young, he's accomplished a lot already. Our Brittany Schaefer has the story. He figured out which envelope it was. He sat on his own and then he went down, he nose touched it. He may only be eight months old, but the Worcester County Sheriff Department's newest member has passed his training course. It's actually abnormal. Um, they generally start the training around six to eight months and then they typically finish about a year. So him only being eight months, he actually started very young and finished with a very high success rate. It's a little young to start. You got him at three and a half months. Usually we adopt them around eight months to a year. So the fact that he's already doing the job shows how good of a, of a detection dog he's going to be. Zeus can sniff trace amounts of various drugs, including narcotics, marijuana, and methamphetamine. Worcester County Sheriff Lou Evangelitis says drugs sealed in letters to inmates is a common problem. People are always trying to get things into a facility. It's, it's been happening from time eternal. So we have to obviously use every available tool to find a way to stop this. And we found narcotics detection dogs are the best. But people were trying to put some box on. They'd sneak them in on, on, uh, on the glue of an envelope or in kids' artwork or things like that. The lab mix was rescued thanks to the PECO Helping Heroes grant from Dog Orphans in Douglas. Manager Ron Moore says if they didn't bring him up from Georgia, Zeus's story could have been much different. Unfortunately, in that pot, in that state and many other states from the south, there are just so many dogs that need homes um, and they're overlooked or destroyed. Now, Zeus is not only helping out the community, but he has a forever home with Sergeant Brian Richardson. He has been a fantastic dog at home, at work, and I have no complaints. And the idea that he could have been, you know, destroyed and not be around was actually really sad. So, I mean, for him to be with me today is, is an unbelievable experience. Brittany Schaefer, Worcester News Tonight. 